welcome back the next plugin we are looking at is access google sheets so let's look at what this plugin can do so you can ask questions uh, ask your google sheet questions and chat with the excel either go, uh, enter the google drive link to start with so i have installed this chat gpt plugin and it is also enabled uh, to make sure you have done that just make sure this process is done and this is an example sheet I'm using. Uh, I'll provide the link to this sheet or if you have your own custom data, you can use it. So this one has the student name, gender, class level, home state, major and extracurricular. This one is just used for the demo. It does not do any additional or complex queries. So access Google Sheets plugin is used to fetch and parse content from Google Sheets or Google Docs URL provided by the user so the first thing is provide the url of the google sheet or the google docs you want to access should be publicly accessible or one that ai has permission to access i don't know how to do the give access to the ai so basically the better approach is i have looked at the public example and it seems to work fine so the sheet i have here let me show you that here. I would give that here. So we should see that uh, data being loaded into here. And I'll also show you some add on queries you can do. In the meantime, let me also look for Google Doc example. Or let me go to my own Google Doc. So if I go into my own Google Doc here, I should have go to Docs. So there should be something here. So I should have some example doc. Let me go go with you here. So I have this uh, job description for Snapchat. So I'll just use this to do with for our example, right? So basically, we saw that the data got loaded in here. Whatever I loaded. So now I can ask some specific questions, right? So I can ask what is the gender of uh, students. So yeah, you can ask it what is the gender of students. So you will get that data here. Or if you want to make it, okay, it gave 14 male students and 16 female students. So I can also ask a group by home state. <laughs> so we should. No, I think I got the query wrong. So let me do group the table data above by home state so yeah it should do that cool so following are the people uh, from this based on this uh, here are the provided students grouped by the state of ny okay so i did not give the query right so i should ask it group the above data by home state so it actually took it as ny which is new york but we wanted to do it for each state so it is doing it for ca it did it for sd nc which is north carolina wisconsin we have uh, i don't know what md is i need to see um, this is massachusetts florida and Ar arkansas south carolina new york and New Hampshire I, yeah and that's basically what it is and after this uh, you could also do multiple other stuff so uh, group by class level right you could also do group by class level so whatever you had to create a pivot table and do multiple things uh, previously uh, 
with code interpreter you can still import the data and do it but with this plugin it enables you to uh, export your google data google docs data and google uh, sheets data directly here and it's able to give us this uh, the list of freshmen sophomore junior senior and yeah that's basically what i wanted to cover so now let me see uh, the next example like we did here can you fetch the data for this google sheet okay i'll just say can you fetch the data for this google doc so let's see if it fetches it cool so it's able to do that and the basic thing is uh anyway this role is filled this one is just for uh educational purposes that's it so i just wanted an example of an uh, working google sheet that's why i'm just using this and yeah it's able to do that and let me say okay can you list questions which may be asked for role above okay let's see if it's able to give it okay so machine learning infrastructure so it's giving you a couple of questions take it with a pinch of salt it might be totally irrelevant the basic idea is if we are able to get a data what can we do with it that's all i'm just showing you some use cases it is pretty random and uh, if you have done data with your work and Excel, uh, you might be a uh, better expert than me. I just wanted to show you how to load the data from Google Docs over here and how to play around with it. I think uh, that's pretty much clear. I hope this helps. Thank you for joining.